looking at her, first bottle went, then I got the other bottle shot. Takes the second bottle, which is the larger one. I'm in this position again, and my my hand is on the edge of the the bar, like like that, you know, leaning over the fingers, like that. And uh, she threw the large bottle, and it made contact and shattered uh, everywhere. And you're justifying that by saying I throw pots and pans? Okay, cool. Let's no, talk about everything you do wrong. I'm not the one who... I said to Travis, I said, Good. no, I said to you, hey, okay. tell Travis what just happened. You oh, you tell told me to do it. You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, t tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in the you're thing. And you you figured it all out. And you said, no, no, I didn't. What the f*** are you talking about? And I, I watched punch you lie. And then I, I didn't I punch you, by the way. You. I'm sorry that I didn't... Uh, 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 hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. As it currently stands, all fingers appear to be pointing at Amber Heard as the abuser in the relationship, and she's not been holding her ground very well. Looks like Heard might actually be headed towards losing the ongoing case, as reports have it that new compelling pieces of evidence have been brought up, and she might not have been too happy about that. Did Amber confess? Why was she emotional? Ever since the legal battle between Depp and Heard began, there have been several major revelations, which frankly have been shocking to both the general public and even themselves. And this was the case once again. Only this time, things got so heated that Heard reportedly burst into tears in the courtroom. The Aquaman star was seen visibly fighting back tears as she watched the footage of Depp smashing up a kitchen at his home in West Hollywood, California, while the former couple were still married. As the video was played in the Virginia courtroom, Heard closed her eyes and looked down, while Depp was under cross-examination by her lawyer during the trial. Depp could be heard in the video shouting, mother effer, mother effer, and someone could be heard punching a wall. While all of this was going on, Heard was also caught on the video telling Depp, all I did was say sorry. Then Johnny Depp could be heard saying, did something happen to you? We're not even fighting this morning. All I did was say sorry. Did something happen to you this morning? I don't think so. Based on the video, it's obvious that alcohol was somewhat part of the mix, and Hurd's lawyer made it a point to confront Depp about it. While speaking to Depp, the lawyer asked if he had drunk a mega pint of red wine. You poured yourself a, um, a mega pint of red wine, correct? A mega pint? I poured myself a large glass of wine. I thought it necessary. He said, I did assault a couple of cabinets, but didn't assault Ms. Heard. He then added, I did not try to intimidate Ms. Heard. If she was intimidated, why was she filming? If she was scared to death, why didn't she leave? While this revelation was indeed shocking, it wasn't the only one that was discovered in that court hearing. Later, Depp was asked about an incident in December 2015 in which he testified he restrained her during a fight while she, on the other hand, claims he headbutted her. However, according to him, any contact that happened would have been accidental because of her struggle. The question came after the members of the jury were shown the cover of an edition of People magazine that showed Heard with black eyes, which happened to be the result of an alleged headbutt. Speaking on the event, Depp told the court, I was trying to restrain Ms. Heard, and once I had restrained her, if she's still trying to move around or kick at me, it's not impossible for them to bump. But a headbutt? That's pretty extreme. However, the audio recordings relating that particular incident seem to have meant something entirely different and the attorneys didn't hesitate to play it in court. It is more than clear that both Depp and Heard have different stories about the event, just like several other incidents from the early days of their marriage. But somehow, most of the fans seem to be on Depp's side of the table and a lot of them made that public knowledge. One user wrote, that's why an abuser is always so desperate to maintain full control of the narrative. If the person you're abusing is receptive to outside information, they may realize that they could have it better than they have it. That is unacceptable for an abuser. Another user mentioned that if things were even a little different, it would be worse for Depp. They wrote, if their words were swapped, Johnny would be in jail tomorrow. Just not okay at all to treat a spouse like that or anyone for that matter. She's a criminal. She abused him and he left her and then she ruined his career. 
Evil people come in all shapes and sizes, and hopefully justice is served here. While everyone was focused on Heard and the court directly, some others mention how the entire case hasn't even made a dent on Heard's career. I feel like I remember all of us talking about how she was going to be dropped from Aquaman 2. It's unreal she's still getting work. I feel so bad for Johnny here. You can literally see the pain in his eyes as he's talking. He keeps acting like he doesn't even want to talk, and I think it's because she's in the courtroom and he's still worried she's going to do something. Even though all the users have made great points, it seems the abuse wasn't exactly as one-sided as they thought. Three days into the trial, testimony from the former couple's therapist, Laurel Anderson, was given, and according to her, there was mutual abuse in the relationship. The court screened a recorded statement from the therapist, who worked for the couple during 2015 and 2016, both in individual and joint sessions. While in session, the Los Angeles-based therapist stated that Heard had a jackhammer style of talking and cut off Deb because he couldn't keep a similar pace, according to Anderson. She also testified that Deb had been well-controlled for the majority of his life, but was triggered by Heard. She said that both of them were victims of abuse growing up. And then with Ms. Heard, Deb was triggered and they engaged as what I saw as mutual abuse. They were both victims of abuse in their homes, Anderson said. I believe he kept himself under control for decades until he got out of control and they engaged in what I saw as mutual abuse. She went on adding that when Heard was triggered by something Deb did, she considered it a point of pride to initiate a fight. And if Deb was going to leave her to de-escalate the fight, she would strike him to keep him there. The couple's counselor also said that Heard started the fights with Depp on more than one occasion to keep him with her because abandonment and having him leave was her worst nightmare. She then stated, I think Depp may have initiated it on occasions too, that I am less sure on. Later, she also spoke about the bruises that were allegedly from Depp headbutting her as she appeared to have seen the actress in person around that time. According to the therapist, Heard called her in December 2015 to tell her she had bruises on her face, adding that she indeed did see those bruises on Heard's face in photos and in person days later. Based on the testimony of Depp and Heard's therapist, it's kind of evident that Heard might have been more of an abuser during their marriage than Depp, and based on her confessions to the therapist, fans agree that she was indeed the problem. And while several of these fans did agree, they didn't keep the realization to themselves. One user wrote, there's been lots of articles about what she has done to him, and I believe a lot of his exes have shown their support towards him, saying he was never violent during any of the relationships. A second user also agreed, stating, there is too much evidence against her, including video and audio leaks, plus Depp's ex-wife testified about his behavior and all of his personal assistance, but there is not any solid proof in the case of Amber Heard. To some others, she might have a mental disorder, sociopath. She's self-reinforcing by not being accountable based on how special she is in the situation. She understands the conduct is criminal and ramped up her self-value by pushing the conduct. She's manipulating the people who should be prosecuted her. A man would be in prison without the recordings and admissions. She will never pay for her conduct, probably does much worse to someone else. Another user wrote, and her sister, who apparently she also treated badly, according to her sister, during the original trial, her parents had texted him to ask him to be kind towards their daughter. He told them he was struggling with how he was being treated and they offered sympathy and requested that he not share the text they had sent with Amber. Ordinarily, the fact that even her parents might have been aware of her tendency to be violent and abusive, among several obvious confessions in the court, her case should probably be dismantled by now. However, Heard is a professional actress and can probably pull off the emotional card to get the jury on her side. While that is not a proven technique for winning court cases, it might be what tips the ice on this one. Tell us what you think. That's it for today. See you on the next one.